So it turns out I've been doing this wrong for a long time, but I found out how to fix it. I went to youtube.com and I actually found out what they prefer and what they recommend to upload as a video file to their website. And so this is what I found. Let me show you what I've been doing and then how to fix it and how to upload it correctly with great quality as well as small file sizes. You gotta just press record. To get to your export settings, make sure you have your project selected. Go to file and then you can go to share master file or what you can do is you can come over here to the share button and then you can also go to master file by clicking on that right there. So now we have this window and this is where we're going to get into all the information. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to upload to YouTube, specifically to YouTube. So right now on info, we can see a few things. We can see that our project is 4K, which is great. That's what I want it at. We can see it's at 23.98 frames per second. Great. That's what I want it as. And right here is the file size. So we can see it's a dot MOV. We can see that it's 161 megabytes. Now, sometimes when you first get into here, what you'll notice is right now I've set to H dot two six four but usually it's at like an apple pro res and this is going look it's like twice the file size this is going to give you huge file sizes and it's not even recommended to do this for youtube it's really not necessary so what i've been doing for the longest time is changing my video codec to an h.264 a lot of people do this it still works it still goes to youtube it's fine but this leaves you with a dot mov well it turns out youtube actually wants a dot mp4 and so i'm gonna show you how to do that in Final Cut Pro right now. What you need to do is go to your format. And instead of video and audio, what it's just normally set to, you want to go to computer. This is going to change it to a .mp4. And this is also still an H.264 file, but we're going to go to better quality because we want the best quality possible. Now you can't really mess with this and, and change the quality, but better quality is going to give you the best quality possible. Our resolution, that's fine. Our color space, audio format, all this stuff is fine. That's all you have to change is format to computer. Make sure you're on better quality. And this is going to give you even a smaller file. And I think why they want a .mp4 than a .mov is because I believe MOV runs more natively on like Apple devices where MP4 is more of a global standard and all the devices that are Android, PC, Windows, all that kind of stuff are going to run MP4 files even faster. So I believe that your .mp4 files, once you upload that to YouTube, is actually going to run faster upload faster on all devices. And so that's great. And that's what you want to do, especially when YouTube is recommending that. Now, let me show you how to save this as a preset. So you don't have to go through all those steps every single time. You can just do it in one click. What you want to do is go back up here to the share button. And we are actually going to add a destination because right now when I click on master file, even though I just changed it to an MP4, I go back into my settings and it's changed back to an H.264 MOV file. So we don't want that. We're going to cancel this. We are going to add a new destination and from here all you really got to do is drag in export file drag it right there is fine if you want it at the very top that's great as well when you click on it this is where you can actually change the preset so format again we're going to change this to computer we're going to change this to better quality and then resolution i like to leave mine at 4k but you can always change that if you edit in hd what you can also do here which is cool is change the name so we can change this to dot mp4 uh, if we want to do that. And then once you hit the close button, everything's saved. You don't have to click save. You go back up here. You're going to see our dot MP4 at the very top. We're going to click that. We go to our settings and look, everything is saved and we can hit next. And you can see this actually updated the resolution to match what my timeline is at. So it's going to do that automatically, which is perfect. Then we're going to go to next. We can save it to our desktop or save it to wherever we'd like. And then that is going to export for you. Click on the screen to watch more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials and I'll see you guys in the next video.